Hey everybody, I'm Chloe Coscarelli and I'm here with the fabulous Chef Roberto Martin. Today we're making sandwiches. Not just any sandwiches, but I'm making a killer avocado Reuben with Thousand Island sauerkraut toasted rye bread. And I think you're gonna make a really bitchin' panini, right? I'm making a mango masala panini. It's got a layer of spiced chickpea masala, roasted cauliflower curry, and a sweet layer of tamarind mango chutney. Get started, do it, let's see it, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first layer that we're gonna start on is the spiced chickpea masala. We're just gonna add a touch of olive oil. Okay. And we're gonna saute some onions. That's Alrighty. gonna give it a lot of moisture. We're gonna add three cloves of garlic, cool. season it with some salt. We're just gonna soften the onions and let them brown. Okay. When I was in college, I lived with six girls and five of them were Indian. And so I learned everything about spices and Indian food and Bollywood dance. It's a really fun culture. So we're gonna throw all that into an all-American panini and kind of fuse it all together today. I love it. All right, so these onions are looking soft. I'm just gonna add in the spices. So here I've got some turmeric and cumin and cinnamon and cayenne for a little bit of spice right and cloves. It's really important to toast your oh, spices yes, with your aromatics. Amazing. So now I'm gonna add some ginger. Mm -hmm. I like to use fresh ginger, it's really fragrant. There we go, stir that around. So now the bulk of this layer is the chickpeas. Amazing vegetarian protein, commonly used in Indian cuisine. And some tomatoes. There we go. Awesome. So we're gonna just let this all come together and I'm gonna just add a little bit of water. Sure. Release the spices from the pan. It'll give us that nice golden color. So just add enough water that it gets nice and juicy. And I'm gonna season it again with a little bit of salt, some pepper. And this smells so good. Oh good, well I hope you like the way it tastes too. We're just gonna let this simmer so that all the flavors can come together. And let's get started on the second layer. Okay. So for the second layer, we're doing the roasted cauliflower curry. Just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. All right. We're gonna cook these onions until they're soft and a little bit brown. Okay. And then we'll add our roasted cauliflower and our cooked potato, which will give it some body. Let's just let these soften. Okay. And then once they're soft, we'll add our spice blend. Okay. So many times people say to me, you're vegan. You eat like hippie food, like rabbit food. <laughs> A lot of people eat vegan. A lot of regular run of the mill moms, dads, families eat vegan, right? And and so I think that the concept is is that it's all this off-putting, kind of bland, hippie food, like you said. Yeah, they think we're hippies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Roberto. Oh, you're welcome, I can't help it. Well, we're gonna show them that we're not today. Exactly. So these onions look great. I'm gonna toss in, here I've got just a store-bought curry mixture and I tossed in some brown mustard seeds. That's gonna give it a little bit of spice. Okay. And then I'm gonna toss in the roasted cauliflower. All right. And my cooked potato, you can boil it, you can microwave it, perfect. Great. I'm gonna season it with some salt. Oh, this smells awesome too, but it smells totally different than that, different, which is right? really cool, yeah. This is a more tomato sweet, this is much more savory and spicy. Yeah. Let's oh, switch okay. you out here cool. for a masher. Okay, right it's on. gonna be a panini. It's all getting smashed together in the end. I'm just gonna give this little spritz of lemon juice. Lemon nice. juice really brightens the spices, so that'll be great. And I'm gonna give it to this one too. I'm also gonna add a touch of brown sugar. Sweet and spicy at the same time, which I love. And I'll toss it with some fresh cilantro to give it that fresh herb flavor. Big fan of the cilantro. Oh good, because some people aren't. I should have asked before I dumped it in. <laughs> Take a look at this, it's so beautiful. The colors are just amazing. This is how it should look, guys, okay? I would eat that like over brown rice. Oh yeah, you like, can eat all meal. of this with a fork, spoon, and a brown rice. And I'm just gonna pulse mine up in the food processor a little bit so that it's easy to spread on the bread. What? So I think after we try this panini, we'll try some dancing too. Oh. <laughs> I'll show wow. you what I've learned. Okay, I will put my best foot forward. All right. I've, I've never danced sober. <laughs> Okay, so I just pulsed it like literally two or three times. Yeah, I can see you that. You still want to see the chickpeas, but mm -hmm. I just want it to come together. Nice. So I can actually just pour this right back in the pan. 
So we've already got two components of our panini done. So my third component <laughs> is my tamarind mango chutney. I just cooked down some mangoes. You can use fresh or frozen, cut into chunks, with a little bit of tamarind paste, which you can find at any grocery store in the ethnic foods aisle. Mm -hmm. And then I added some brown sugar, a little bit of water, and just let it cook down until it's nice and sweet and syrupy. Give it a couple pulses in the food processor. I used to eat tamarind in Mexico as a kid. It's so <laughs> yummy. Okay, so the layers to my panini are all done. Mm -hmm. Get started on yours while I clear some space for assembly. Okay, Messi, okay. you got okay. it. So I'm making an avocado Reuben. It's not as exotic as that beautiful sandwich she's putting together, but it is also quite, quite yummy. And we start off with some toasted rye bread. And it's just like the Reuben that you're familiar with, except for the corned beef is out and a nice firm avocado is being substituted. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is make our Thousand Island dressing, which is what makes the Reuben, right? So I'm gonna throw in a cup and a half of vegan mayonnaise, and there's no reason to buy the regular mayonnaise. The vegan mayonnaise tastes just the same. It's awesome. Try it, I know you'll be convinced. So, cup and a half of vegan mayonnaise with three um, dill pickles, all minced up, and you can do it in the food processor if you don't feel like chopping. And then about a half a cup of ketchup, which I just kind of eyeball. Because again, we're making Thousand Island. Mm. And that, yeah, and that's what's in the, um, in all Rubens, right? Okay. It's, it's, it's rye bread, Thousand Island, corned beef, and sauerkraut, okay? So we're gonna mix this stuff up with a little whisk, add a little salt, and a little bit of pepper. And this recipe makes a lot because this stuff lasts a long time in your fridge. And this is what you can use on your vegan sliders and anything else where you would like Thousand Island just as a dressing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sliced tomato and I like to slice it up a little thin. I'm just gonna grab a paper towel over in your pretty side of the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're so welcome. That's really a genius idea. There we go. Yeah, just dry it up a little bit. So. You know, we don't need all of that water. Right, because then the bread gets really soggy. Okay, so the next thing is, and this is a key ingredient, you don't want avocados that are like guacamole ready, right? Okay. Like, obviously you don't want them super hard. So, I go down to the bone here. Pit, pit, sorry. In Spanish it's called a bone, so oh. I always screw that up. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. And then I take a little big spoon here. This is a perfect avocado. So we're gonna scoop it out. There we go. That was so perfect. It's so easy. That was so perfect. Super, super easy. I'm gonna get started building my panini too. So I'm gonna layer up my chickpeas, my cauliflower, and my chutney. So I'm gonna add some spinach to add a nice green color. Yeah, this is gonna be a really pretty sandwich. Vegan food really can be varied. I think vegan food is as varied as food, you know? It's because it is, it's just, it just happens to not have that one part in it that's, you know, animal-based. Exactly. Um, I just squeezed a little bit of excess juice out of the sauerkraut so it's not so, again, so soggy, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting mine together. When you slice this bad boy, you can like actually hear it. No, oh, I heard that one too. Yeah. It's all about the color too, I think. The golden brown and delicious, right? G, B, and D. All right, Britta, this is ready for you. I'm What's he gonna do? It. Flip it. Oh, snap! Oh, oh, this is so cute! <laughs> yeah. This is the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed. Gimme, gimme. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you <laughs> so much. This is so cute, look. Oh my god, this is so... This Yum, all right, let's go for Holy it. Holy smokes. So can't wait to take a bite Can out of this. Can we eat this already? For sure, for sure. Wow. I can taste everything all at the same time. It's amazing. So good. <laughs> it's a serious sandwich. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, salty. Crispy, sweet, this is so delicious. I love the avocado thinly sliced. Mm. Click below for the recipes and be sure to subscribe to The Hungry Channel. For sure. Who's gonna help us out? Dan, camera number Dan, two. Dan, my man. You gotta yeah. try a bite of this one. 
Which one? This one. Right. So good. Oh! Hey! Oh. <laughs> That's a good Ruby. <laughs> Yay! Nice! nice. <laughs> Sweep it up! Okay, I can do that. Sweep it down! Sweep it up! Sweep it down! Add the hip vibrato! Oh, oh, oh. I, you tell me what to do.